Hey guys, um, it's been a long time since I put out a podcast and I'm doing a live stream now to YouTube as a way of getting it done. What I just wanted to share with you was something hopefully that'll help with what we've been going through the last few days here in South Africa, where there has been chaos and rioting and looting and burning and destruction and now there are major food shortages and you know no baby formula no nappies no adult diapers uh, no medication for people on chronic meds everything has has been destroyed and and taken out in the province of Natal and in areas of of Gauteng incredibly challenging times and it's very difficult to sit around feeling powerless and helpless because that only compounds our anxiety what i wanted to share with you is a lesson that i learned myself in recovery and in getting sober from my 30 odd years nearly of being an alcoholic uh wait yeah from the age of 9 to 36 what is that 27 years of being an alcoholic and it's a lesson I learned in sobriety. Sometimes we feel there's no control. So we need to bring things into our lives that we feel we have some form of control over. And what I would like to, I'm just checking here, like if it's, oh, there we go. It's one minute 40. I'm trying to keep this down. What, what I do when I feel I'm out of control and I can't control my pain, I pick pain that I can control. But I pick pain that's healthy and appropriate. And for me, that's a cold shower. So I start my morning early with a nice shower. Johannesburg is freezing cold right now, around about four degrees. And at the end of the shower, and this whole time I'm having a discussion with myself, don't want to do it, we'll do it tomorrow, don't want to... I turn on that ice cold water and I stand under it and I get it all over me on the back of my neck and down my back, which is absolutely terrifying and freezing. But I'm in control of that pain. I can turn the water back to hot. I can turn the water off and get out. I'm in control. That's one little bit of discomfort. Discomfort that I can control. And it's a huge help because it does two things for me. It under, helps me understand that there's some form of control over a very uncomfortable situation that I'm in. And it also shows me how much I'm actually capable of, of tolerating in terms of discomfort. I'll set a 30 second or a minute or a 90 second time for myself and I push through to that and I choose. We are capable of dealing with far more then we understand because we are far stronger than we understand. But that doesn't make it any easier. And that's something I try to explain to the addicts, that fighting and strength and survival is the hardest thing we're ever going to do because we're at that breaking point all the time. It feels like we're at breaking point and at the very, very end of our tether, at the end of what we do all the time so when we can give ourselves a situation where there's an off switch 30 seconds 45 a minute two minutes however long and we turn off that water and we get out other than the incredible health benefits of the ice cold water and waking up and being refreshed it's something that we have a form of control over and I find it's an incredibly powerful reset. And it teaches me to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And it teaches me that if I don't think I'm going to make it through the day, I think back to that ice cold shower I chose to endure this morning. And I got through that time I set myself. I can get through today. And that's ultimately what it comes down to, guys. We can learn from yesterday. We can plan for tomorrow. But all we can control is right now. So for addicts and alcoholics like myself, it just comes down to not using today. I'm just not going to drink today. I'm not going to think about not drinking tomorrow. 
It's just right now, today, morning to night, the next hour, from the time I lift my head up to the time I put my head on a pillow. That's all we have to deal with, is just today. Can't do anything about tomorrow yet, and we can learn from yesterday, but we can't do anything about it, perhaps other than make amends. So guys, if we break down our anxiety and our fear and our stress and our anger and our rage and our guilt and understand that these mountains that we feel we have to carry, that keep piling on and on and on. And when we look forward to going on holiday down to the coast, suddenly we can't because we're into another lockdown. And when our businesses were just starting to pick up a little bit again, they get smacked again by the other lockdown or all of our clients getting sick. We can understand that we can get through just today. We plan for tomorrow. We learn from yesterday. But all we have to deal with is today. And we start that day with a massive amount of intentional, planned, controlled discomfort can help us understand that we can get through that day because we got through that shower in the morning. Guys, this is something that has worked for me tremendously over the last few years. It's something that I've shared with the thousands of addicts in recovery that I've worked with. And they tell me, those who are able to maintain their sobriety, that this helps. And I hope, again, that it helps you. I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Take care of one another and look after yourselves. Just be extra kind and caring. Us. I'm going to try and put these out every day for you. So, because you guys deserve it. And again, I really, I, I, I hope it helps.